We are joined by uh, Louis Capche and uh, Darren Baisley ahead of our second game against Qatar uh, on Monday night in uh, Austria and um, on Tuesday morning in New Zealand. Um, so, Baisley, obviously a quick turnaround between uh, the last game and this game. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of uh, the next fixture? Yeah, good. We travelled yesterday, you know, um, spent the day travelling. So, in fact, some players came a bit early and got in a training session here. Uh, but now we're all here, settled into the hotel last night, and yeah, the day's just started for us today here in Austria. So yeah, we've got a good training session planned for, for later on, a couple of meetings, and uh, yeah, do a bit of a preview on Qatar. We did our Sweden review last night with the players, so now we have moved fully on to Qatar, and we're, we're in a good place. Okay, over to you guys. Hey guys, Andrew Vorman here. Um, Libby, what were your main takeaways from the review of the Sweden game, and I guess also just how it played out? on the pitch? Yeah, I take away a lot of positives actually, um, disregarding, disregarding the result. Um, we played some, some great football at times. Um, if, you, if you take away, you know, those, the last few minutes of each half, you know, we were very much in the game. We, we dominated certain aspects of, of, um, of the game and I think we can really take a lot of positives and, and take that into the, to the next game against Qatar. If you think back, say, you know, three and a half years to when you last played a European team in Europe, I'm talking about Ireland and Dublin, and, you know, there's a lot of similar players, a lot of wanting to play this kind of football. You know, do you ever sense that there's been progress in that time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, also, a lot of the boys are obviously a lot older, um, and they take certain, you know, experiences fr from those kind of games into these t type of games. and. We also learnt a lot as well in the game against Sweden. So we're, we're a team that's you know just that's building and you know taking experiences from each game and taking that and building on to the next one. Right, cool. Thanks, guys. Next question. Hey guys, Michael Burgess here. Um, I guess Libby, continuing on that theme, um, what what do you think happened in the especially in the last seven or eight minutes of the the first half? If you look before that, we we were trying to trying to be brave. That's how how, how we want to be. You know, we want to you know, try try things and and be attacking and create things in certain situations. And um, in, the, in that first goal, we we overdid it a bit, um, and unfortunately, we didn't learn from it. But you know, we sat down last night and we had a good review, um, and that just like uh, I said before, you know, we're taking these taking these times to, to really learn from it and these are the type of games we can you know try things and and see if they come off and they don't so um, unfortunately they didn't in the last five t uh, ten minutes of that half but you know we're, we're trying to trying to do things and see see how it is and see how the boys react and on a personal note Libby how have you felt about your your club season and how you continue to, to develop in Italy yeah it was, a, it was a difficult season in my opinion um, but I think it was a season of you know of growth and and really maturing. Um, I learned a lot of things about myself because um, I'm still very young and um, it was really my first season, not really playing that much. And I think it was time for me to you know really work on the things I, I need to. And I had obviously time to do that. And hopefully now next season I can really push on and and really show show that uh, Italy what I can really do. Because as you've said in the past, um, it's not it's hard when you're not getting game time. But I imagine there's still so much you can learn being where you are. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, being in that kind of environment, you you can pick up a lot of things from other people. And um, you know, I, I had a very good network around me, and they were really supporting <coughs> me in you know the tough times. But yeah, I, I learned a heap load. That's the uh, last season. Thank you. Uh, Libby Barry, guy from RNZ in Wellington. Uh, could you just elaborate on um, what you're trying to achieve by, as you say, being brave, I'm assuming coming out of defence, uh, and will you be doing that, um, continue to try and do that against Qatar? Yeah, for sure, we'll continue to do that against uh, Qatar. Um, you know, whatever system we play, you know, we we try we try be brave. That's in 
in every type of system we want to play. Um, I think in terms of being brave, we just want to, you know, try create overload and stretch the team as much as possible so then we can really hurt them up the field. Um, but we want to play, you know, a type of type of brand of football that, you know, that, that we like as a, as a team. Cheers. Yeah. Hey, guys, Tom from... Oh. You go ahead, Josh. All right, thanks, Matt. Uh, Darren, um, how differently... How, how, how different do you think uh, Qatar will be uh, to Sweden in, the, in their approach? Yeah, I mean, they're a different team. <clears throat> they play a, a slightly different shape. Uh, they have different strengths and weaknesses, you know. So we, we've got a, quite a lot of um, video on them. You know, they've had a change of coach since the World Cup. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, they're, they're a different team to Sweden. They're not as effective in that transition moment, um, but they have some different strengths as well, you know. Like, um, so it's something that we have to be aware of. Again, you know, every game is different. Every opposition is different. Uh, we want to be pretty constant in what we're doing now. Um, and like Libby said, there's certain elements of our game that we really want to improve on um, and, and learn from in every game um, so that we can get to you know, later in the year, later down the track, we can get to the big games and be really effective. That's where we want to get to. We want to become a really positive, possession-based, effective team. <coughs> yeah. Apart from the video, have you been able to learn much about their squad? Um... About Qatar? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we pick up on media reports, but we've, you know, obviously we've got the games, we've got some people that know some of the the, the team from that part of the world. So yeah, we'll do we do as much research as we can, and like I say, today is a big big day on Qatar, um, and you know, sort of the meeting will all be Qatar and what they're going to do, strengths and weaknesses, and and how we're going to play against them. And have you got any knocks or players unavailable after? The Sweden game. Yeah, we've got we've got a couple of players with uh, a little a little bit sore, but uh, nobody that's got any anything big that should stop them playing. Um, like I say, we travelled yesterday, so there is an element of seeing how everybody is this morning. You know, um, we arrived, had a meeting, had dinner, had a meeting, and and went to bed. So it's early in the morning here, so we'll we'll check in with the physios and uh, sports scientists this morning at breakfast and make sure that everybody's okay for training. Um, and obviously make some decisions after we know, you know, how everybody is. Hey guys, uh, Tom Rice from the uh, News Talk ZB. How are you guys going? Good, thank yeah, you. Very good, thank you. Good to hear. Hey, um, just one from Libby. Being in the game, of course, on the field against Sweden, what kind of areas or aspects impressed you that you'd like to see your boys continue on into the game against Qatar? It's a very good question. Um, in my opinion, we did very well at you know the the shiver moment, the the reaction once we lost the ball, um, and those are the moments where we really really hurt Sweden, and I think we can do that more often. Um, it's once we regather the ball, and the other team's a bit dis disorientated. Um, that's where we can. You know, really hurt teams, and we need to be also better at, you know, capitalising on those on those mistakes given by the opposition. So, I think it's those those little moments where you know we can hurt them because that's where Sweden hurt us. So, as long as we capitalise on those moments, we can you know, really hurt teams. Mm, for sure, and for Darren, of course, there was that like what's been touched on, maybe a short kind of lapse in concentration at, at before the end of both halves. How do you, as, as a coach, prevent that from happening in the next game? Yeah, I mean, we've got a we've got a squad of very good, young, confident players that you know we're and we're trying to play a style of football that represents that. Um, you know, what we can do is help them, show them some of those moments where things could potentially be a little bit different. Help them to understand those uh, the moments in the game, the timings of the game, and some of the areas of the pitch where. You know, there's there's risk and reward, um, but ultimately, you know, we want the players to be out on the pitch making decisions. You know, so we can we can help guide them, um, and when it comes off, it looks really good. 
uh, and when there's mistakes, it, it you know it, like yesterday it hurt us against a very effective team in, in that moment. So you know there'll be there'll be mistakes made. You know hopefully they don't always end up in the in the back of our net. But yeah, we definitely want the players to be brave and but to learn from those moments of you know when we're under pressure in certain areas of the pitch, then maybe it's not the time to to play certain passes. Cheers, guys. Go well. Cheers. Cheers. Darren, you've talked in sort of both press conferences about, you know, perhaps sticking with, um, you know, less changes to shape and things like that going forward. What sort of conversations have there been this week about, you know, the way this team wants to play and, you know, what sort of input the players had into, I guess, the setup um, we saw against Sweden? Yeah, I mean, we've had, we've, had a, we've had extra time on this tour. There's been more time for us together um, as opposed to the last tour in, in March. So yeah, we were able to have quite a lot of meetings with the players, with the leadership group, and really talk about what is our identity? How do we want to play? Or, or ask the players, how do they want to play? How do they want to look when they're out on the pitch? Um, so we had some real good collaborative discussions um, and you know, we all decided that this is who we are. This is what we want to look like down the track. You know, if we get to the World Cup, this is the type of football that we want to be playing. Um, and we're on that journey now and we're on that way to you know we started that against Sweden in fact it's probably started back in China um, where the the switch to the second shape you know let us be potentially a little bit more creative a little bit more attacking still possession based um, but like you'll see the other day uh, this shape allows us to potentially get more players forward um, we created more chances we still had really good possession there's things to tidy up and, and things to make sure of, especially against teams with high strengths in certain areas. So it's, it's something that, yeah, we want to keep working on and move forward. It's not the finished article, but uh, I think you'll all agree some of the football that was played the other night was, was outstanding against a very good team. Um, and so they're the moments that we really highlight to say, can we do more of that? Can we get more of this type of play? Can we create more chances? Can we score more goals? Um, and just in terms of personnel, just at right back, you know, what went into the decision to, I guess, play Tim, who's probably played mostly centre back in recent times there, um, ahead of Callum, um, in Sweden. Yeah, I mean, Tim's very flexible, very versatile. You know, he's played right back a lot in his career, played right back for us against China and did very well, you know, and, you know, has, has played there for the Phoenix. Obviously, he has been playing, playing centre back. Um, we just thought, that he was the right player for the game. You know, I thought he did some good stuff. Um, some, it's a bit difficult for some of the A-League boys, you know, with uh, the sort of out of season and, and maybe not being as match sharp as they would want, um, like it is for some other players, but that's fine, you know. Um, we make decisions and yeah, on the day we, we went with Tim. Okay, any further questions? Yeah, just one more. Darren, you, you talk, what you and Libby both talked about in terms of where you want this team to get to and how you want to play, uh, was what happened against Sweden a bit of a case of some uh, short-term pain for the long-term gain in terms of really um, being faithful to that, to that style and that system? Yeah, definitely. You know, like Libby said, if you take away the six minutes before half-time and, and literally the last kick of the game, then we actually dominated periods you know we had a lot of good possession created some good chances you know we spoke to Ollie yesterday and he, he didn't feel like he was under threat that often made a couple of saves but you know the goals were really clinical and they punished us in those moments so you know that's you know it's a really positive there's there's definitely um, things to improve on um, and I think we've shown how we can look and now there's the areas that we can improve on to, to make us even more effective. And how do you learn to be, I guess, a bit more pragmatic at certain times? Like I say, I think we by showing the video, um, letting the players see the moment, feel the moment, I mean, the, people talk about experience and, and how do you gain experience? The only way of doing that is playing, you know, and playing regularly in this type of football. Um, the best part of learning is, is making mistakes, unfortunately. You know, and unfortunately that cost us um, a scoreline on um, the other day. But yeah, definitely I feel like the players have definitely seen and felt what that was like and hopefully we'll start to tweak some of those decision-making moments within each game. 
And Libby, I assume you're on um, holiday from uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, your time. Um, how much of a break do you get and when do you have to report for, um, for pre-season? So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be off on holiday after, after the game. Um, and that'll be the case for most of the boys. So I think most of the boys will give as much as they can for the next game. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to discuss with the club on when I will return for pre-season. Um, it's been been a long season, and um, yeah, I'll be I'll be ready to go once they once they call me back. But I'll be enjoying my my off season in Europe. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Darren, just one last one. Um, do you reckon there'll be many changes to your lineup, or you know, if you need to want to try and keep playing this way, is it important to keep sticking with um, you know many of the same players? You know, I think it's a balance. You know, like I said, we first off we need to see how everybody is feeling. You know, um, we have got a few players carrying slight things. You know, so a little bit of maintenance. So we need to check on them, see how they are. Yeah, I think I think there'll be changes, but not wholesale changes. Cool. So if there are no further questions, we will call up there. Uh, thanks, Libby. Thanks, Bays. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, so we'll send out the video for this uh, shortly. Sorry, Tris, can I just ask one more? Um, you've had a different venue. Um, I mean, I, from the looks of it, you were originally down to play in the middle of Vienna, and now you're playing somewhere that looks to be a good hour's drive south out in the country. Um, yeah, how are you sort of going to have to adjust to the sort of, I guess, you know, going from a big stadium with a decent crowd into pretty much what's going to feel probably like a bit of a training game? Libby, maybe that one, one for you. Yeah, look, it's, it's Qatar's Qatar's fixture, so it's on them. Um, but yeah, we've we've dealt with it in the past, and yeah, most of the boys are, have experienced it. So yeah, we'll we'll be fine, and you know, we'll take everything that comes at us. Okay, thanks, guys. Cool. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, we'll finish up there.